For whoever just joined, uh, my name is Federica and I'm part of the DocCity team. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to this live webinar of University West Sweden. Today we will be talking about all the opportunities offered by the institution and also all the programs held in English. And um, just remind you that you can write all of your questions into the Q&A box. We will be answering during the second part of the presentation. And it's my pleasure now to leave the floor to Thomas. Thank you. You're always so kind. And I'm so happy to have all of you on board on this webinar. Uh, my name is Thomas Bengtsson and I'm Director of International Affairs at University West here in Sweden. We will talk more about Sweden soon. And with me this evening, it's early evening in Sweden. So early evening in Sweden, I have with me my friend and their professor Giovanni from Brazil that will help us with the presentation. So welcome, Giovanna. Thank you so much, Thomas. So let's go to talk about the University of West. Let me see, I will share my screen and some of the presentation. That's right. Yes. Okay, guys. So Thank you so much to stay here. I am Giovanni Medina. I am a professor in Santa Catarina State University in South of Brazil. And I was a visiting professor in university in Sweden. And nowadays I represent, I'm the representative of University West in Brazil, right? So I am an engineer, manufacturing engineer, so I can help you too much to explain the major of uh, engineer um, programs in engineer, right? And about all the programs that we offer in English. So we talk, uh, our presentation, we divided in why study in Sweden, if you don't know what it means in uh, study in Sweden or your first option is not Sweden and you want to know more about the country and University West, West in Swedish, Hogeskolas West, and programs and services that we can offer to you. So, first of all, uh, Sweden um, uh, belongs to the Scandinavian countries that they have Iceland, Norway, Finland, Sweden, and Denmark. And Sweden, it's an innovative country, one of the most innovative, innovative countries around the world. We have the, the most multinational companies spread around the world. It's a safe, modern, and organized country. We are international. Res uh, we have a politic condition that we respect for civil freedom, eco, and diversity. No language barrier. It's not necessary to speak Swedish. I, I speak Swedish so, so bad. And it's not a bottleneck for me because everyone speaks English very well in Sweden. Uh, it's a prime location I can show you by map. And we have a Swedish way of life. Uh, Thomas know what about that. It's lokom. What, what it means lokom uh, yes. in Swedish, Thomas. It is like, we, we are like uh, not too good and not too bad, but better than too bad, it is lagom. So between really good and really bad, that is lagom. That's a... <laughs> it, it's, <laughs> it's so nice. So you have time to study, you have time to enjoy, you have time to work uh, in the right measure. Not so much, not so less. I, I love Lokom. I, I learned too much when I live in Sweden about that. Uh, it's, um, Sweden, it's a beautiful country and they have a beautiful natural with a rich history. It's not so about Vikings, but they have another cultural history. Um, it's a home for international business. I can talk about that concerning the companies that uh, University West has partnership. This is the most important that if you have, if you're looking for a global career, University West can offer to you not a, a, a door, a open the door for you, open a gate, a gate of opportunities. Uh, and we have an excellent public transport system. So guys, 
I think that you have some doubts, okay? Uh, can I start in Sweden as an international student? We, I have some restrictions or protocols to follow. Uh, we, I have activities on campus. How is the country's lifestyle with COVID-19? So Thomas can talk about that. Please, Thomas. Yes, uh, like uh, the rest of the world, we in Sweden also have some uh, issues concerning uh, the coronavirus. Uh, we have not had any lockdown here in Sweden, but we have regulations and instructions where people uh, are following them. And uh, uh, we hopefully we have started the vaccination and we have the goal, the government has set the goal to everybody shall be vaccinated uh, until beginning of July. And at universities, we have not been locked down at all. All universities in Sweden, they are open. And even if we have had some parts of the education in distance, we still have the university open. So students can come there and use the facilities and uh, talk to professors and so on. So that has been really important for us and especially for international students. It's so important for them to be able to come to the university and not just sit in the student accommodation. Uh, yes. Thank you so much, Thomas. So like uh, as Thomas told you about that, uh, we have a crisis management team that uh, who is in charge? Our president, Martin Hillstrom, and they follow all the protocols, all the rules, all the procedures by Swedish government, okay? And you can see more details because we update concern about these kind of resolutions that we follow up, right? By our website that how we handle the situation with coronavirus. Of course, we update month to month, 15, 15, days and I'm sure that next semester summer period we change everything because the majority of the people uh, already took the vaccine and on this moment Sweden uh, vaccinate over 4.5 percent of the uh, seats in there and is the same number about the Euro uh, European Union okay this is so nice so guys, Let's go. Let's talk about where, where is the place that locates University West. University West located in a beautiful small city called Trohetan in Swedish. That's correct, Thomas? Trohetan. Yes, your Swedish, you're so uh, shy because your Swedish is so excellent. Oh, thank you. Tack så mycket. Bro. So, uh, welcome to Trohetan. Trohetan is uh, located in a prime location, right? You can see here that uh, I put in Google map and in 44 minutes by car, you nearby, uh, locate nearby Gothenburg and, uh, but by train, you spend at maximum 30 minutes. Copenhagen for how, four hours, Oslo 3.20 minutes and Stockholm 4.34 minutes. It's a, amazing location there. And we have many friends and many people that work in, in Trohetan, but live in Gothenburg, the second biggest city uh, in Sweden, my favorite city, for, for instance. So it's a locate in west coast of southern Sweden. It's not so cold if you compare the not extreme north of Sweden, OK? They have 55,000 people living there, surround a beautiful nature that, as you can see, concerning this picture that I put here, and all you need is closet. Forget about a crowded subway, a crowded traffic. We don't have a traffic there, right? It's a calm, but very nice city to live there. And we have a not expensive city to live there. I can talk about the live coast there, right? The and this is very, very important. 
This is place that locates the, uh, the headquarters for some big and high tech industries like GTN Aerospace, Navis, National Electric Vehicle Sweden, and nearby Volvo Cars, Scania, and others, uh, huge companies and high tech companies that we have then as a partnership for our students to make their thesis, uh, some um, uh, core projects about the courses and internships as well that I will talk of, uh, during the presentation. University West. Uh, it's a modern university. We are so, so young, founded in 1990. The University West has about 15,000 students and something like uh, 625 employees. We have values and mission in inclusiveness, proactivity, and innovative. But if you can check our website, we put crazy enough. Why we put crazy, crazy enough? Because we looking for and research too much to make a different education. And we use a work integrate learning. What is this? The knowledge is acquired everywhere, not just in universities. We believe and we practice that education, we can make education outside of universities. I can explain because the majority, majority uh, of the practice classes and our labs uh, locate outside the universe, inside the companies, inside in a science park that I can talk about that. Let's see, we are international, very, very international. We participate as a membership in Erasmus Plus, European University Association, ISAP, and other organizations. And we, of course, that's the point we are here, we offer programs taught in English, and we have many exchange partner universities in Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, North and South America, include Brazil that I represent in West West here, and Sao Paulo and Florianópolis. And next year, we have more Swedish companies, companies that they have plants in Brazil that we have made deals to make inter to our students to make internships in Brazil. So, campus and facilities. We locate in a prime location in Trojetan. In downtown campus, we have a downtown campus close to Central Station. Central Station. Let's see. Look at this. I make uh, this by Google Map, and the university is here. I can use this. Let's see here. Our university here. And in seven minutes or 90 minutes, if you go for another way like this, you are here, you stay here to center station, take a train. In 30 minutes, you go, you will be in Gothenburg. So it's nearby about the river, the main river that cut through head in the middle. It's very nice. Me and Thomas, sometimes we practice jogging here. This is my track, okay, here. And maybe Thomas just here and come back here faster. So let's see here, yeah. okay, okay. Let's go. Guys, we have an uh, innovative science park as well. This is the housing of our researchers. This is the PTC, Production Technology Center. This is the place that we have the, our all practice classes in labs. I will explain the next slide, right? But we have a services center as well, a very nice library, lecture study rooms, with the last technology, 12 computer rooms and 30 study landscapes. It's really good. And on this moment, we open the cafeteria. Uh, cafeteria is open, library is open, and uh, you have condition to, to move inside of the University West. 
during the pandemic, but we have the restriction about that. I'm sure that from August, this scenario changed completely because the majority of the people received the vaccine. Um, let's see, Innovative Science Park. This is one petition. This is one of the cherry on the cake. One of Sweden's newest and largest labs, okay? They, ha we have practice classes in welding, thermal spray, additive manufacturing, TD, 3D printing, okay? Machine and robotics, the home of our researchers, right? Where the education, research, and business work together, like this. This is a video that I will share it for you by these slides. I will send to Federica and Federica share for everyone that participate or subscribe before this uh, webinar. But I will show you a special part of this video. You can see what means our science park. Let's see here. En process då där vi har jobbat väldigt nära tillsammans med Högskolan Väst, det är ett 3D-printing med, med laser och tråd. Nu har vi... This guy, uh, let me see the name again. Tråd då. Nu har vi kommit då till tråd då. Nu har vi kommit med laser och tråd. Stefan Forsman, he is responsible for research and technology technology of GKM, the aerospace company. They are responsible for at least 90% of the aero, uh, air components in jets and rockets as well. One of the biggest clients, clients of them, of course, NASA, okay? And they, they use an open innovation. What is this? They research and then development new projects, new components, outside of their company and they prepare their lab in the science park that we share and we manage with this and our students study practice class in the labs of GKN, SOB, Volvo. They have uh, many kinds of labs in the same place in a science park. This is very, very special for education and open good opportunities to have a global career in one of these companies. Think about it. If you start to, to study, for instance, uh, additive manufacturing and involve your final thesis with Stefan, and after that, do you want to, to work in our company? Piantation, we are not uh, worried that you have this, but we open this opportunity. We open our network for that. I will explain in more details after this slide. We are innovative, international and market focus, right? We have some uh, projects in thermal spray that uh, we <clears throat> have uh, provided better bonus to implants. We have a new program de demanded by local industry. Uh, navies requested this because the majority of the automotive industry start to change for electric vehicles. And we use a VR as a tool for education. Uh, we have a partnership with JS, the rail company that responsible for the trains in Sweden and that the drivers and train hosts in various work situations that can be difficult or dangerous to practice in real life, okay? We use a v, uh, VR to simulate these dangerous situations. So I have some examples. This guy, he is the, who's the name? Peter Envin. He's the CEO of GKN and he said, Strong cooperation with GKN Airspace in Sweden with University West. And the NAVES. The NAVES, the vehicle electric company that belongs to Chinese organization that they bought the old automotive plant from Saab, located in Trohetan. They rebuilding for a mortar plant and now request 
engineers specialize in this and who they looking for to help them, us, Invest West. So they said, he said, this, his name is uh, Jose Guerrero, okay? He's the name CEO. And he said, we are always open to and interested in the work with the students and research at University West. So guys, be a researcher of University West. And we have some alumni that we have example about their final thesis, their projects that they did in University West. Uh, this is uh, Andreas. Andreas, in his doctoral thesis, Andreas presented new possibilities for more effective use of laser metal pounded deposition in the aerospace industry in his doctoral, right? We have here Alexandre Manvielli. He's from France and not in a final thesis, in a project course in automation. Uh, Alexandre presented his ideas in how a big company in Gothenburg could automate the amount of light on heavy vehicles. It's very nice. And 2020, in the middle of pan uh, COVID pandemic, the last but not least, I like this project, Tahira, Tahira uh, research opens up entirely new opportunities to make air and spacecraft engineers more environmentally friendly, okay? This is so, so, so nice. And this is a good opportunity that you, you are the next, our research, our students that can make some things, some projects, one of these companies that they, we have a partnership. So let's go to the programs. I speak faster, right, guys? Because I want more time to que questions for me and Thomas can uh, uh, talk about your doubts, uh, many things. We have here a list about the, pro the programs that we offer to you. I put this in a blue, in blue, the code that you can fill it up the, the application in SI. Swedish Institute. Don't worry about that because in our website, when you push the button in an application, go direct, uh, you go direct to the SI website and appear immediately, fill it up automatically, this number. But I can put this, I put this here to for you to memorize about that, okay? So we have uh, program, master programs for one year and two years. Uh, master Finance, just one year. Master International Business, we have just one year. Master in, in IT and Management, we have one year. Master in, in Work Integrates Pol Political Studies, just in two years. I will explain why, the reason. Master Electrical Vehicle Engineer for one year. Sorry, one year. Uh, manufacturing Engineer, we have one and two years. Metal Additive Manufacturing, just for two years and robots and automation one year and two years. Let's go. Here, someone, if someone interested in fine, uh, finance, we have a master program that uh, the career focuses in financial analyst. And we have a structure and content based in CFA Institute. Do you know what I mean CFA Institute? This is the Character Financial Analyst Institute that they are responsive to accreditation process for financial analysts. This is very important. This is very nice uh, program because you, when you finish this program, you got the master degree and you already prepared to make the CFA exam. It's so, so nice. We have a tight relationship with CFA and they help us to prepare the pedagogical, uh, the contents about this program. This is the admission requirements. Uh, I prefer, me and Thomas prefer to talk about that in the, the time to make the questions, right? And the Master International Business, of course, the, we establish in the four core pillars of international business, management, marketing, finance, and account. But in international, international folks, okay? 
So we have a partnership that we involve the students in the practical uh, classes, but a pra practical projects uh, like a final thesis in large companies, small and medium companies in, that involve international operations. So we have a partnerships in companies that we call a cross-border companies, Swedish and Norwegian companies, that uh, companies that they establish their companies and the borderline between Sweden and Norway. So master in IT and management, developing close cooperation with local industries. And uh, in this case, after two basic courses, you can choose one of three specializations below, like advanced software development, virtual uh, reality, right? And argument reality and IT focusing strategy and architecture, right? Here, we have just for two years, not one year, uh, master work integrates political studies. For me, it's a unique master program that combining work integrated learning and political studies. I don't know if we have this kind of uh, program in another university, right? I don't know. Maybe yes, but I don't know. So it's a tight partnership in collaboration with University of West Cape in South Africa that provides the students a real applied research uh, to political policies and decisions at international and local levels. So the first year you study in Sweden, after that you make internship or you prepare your final thesis outside of Sweden. One of our partnerships, because now we are in a pandemia and Africa has a, a hard, they are in a hard situation, but they offer for us their partnership network to do this outside of Africa. It's an amazing program. After that, this is my favorite, one of my favorite because it's very, very new, right? Uh, electric vehicle engineer. It's a strong and promised job in market. And some researchers uh, mentioned that this kind of uh, career they, there is a need at least 10,000 engineers with expertise in electric vehicles. This is very, very, very nice. So concerning our program, we have a unique collection of advanced industrial research technology, okay? Like additive manufacturing, electric machine design, power electronic systems, electric and hybrid vehicle technology, and battery technology. For instance, Tesla, they need too much engineer specialization in battery technology. It's so, so nice. And we have condition to offer to you this kind of project to open the gates for a global career, right? So this degree qualified to you uh, to hold positions in automotive sectors like components of responsible engineer, electric machine design, hybrid components, electric and hybrid vehicle system design engineer, right? And the potential employers, such as Navis, Volvo Cars, Volvo AB, Trucks, CAVT, are located nearby, near University West, and they are our partnerships. So we have a master in manufacturing engineer. We have one year and two years, right? Uh, in one year, we focus totally operation management, machine welding, thermal spray, and robotics. The second year, we advance the subject and cover welding metallurgy, statistical process control, design of experience, and surface engineer. The second year, we can include the industry placement, IPC, industry placement course that you need to make an internship outside of Sweden, in Europe, Asia, or South America as the basis for your thesis. Here, we have the TV manufacturing. is new as well. We released in 2020, right? After this presentation, Thomas maybe can talk about the news 
of we want to all, uh, offer for 2022 uh, new courses taught in English as well. But we have a manufacturing, uh, also known as a 3D printing. It's a strong job market on this moment, okay? And uh, around the world, some, some researchers, they invest over $11 billion in 2021. So concerning our program, just for two years, this is very important, design in partnership with local Swedish industry, uh, you will have practical experience through the group, individual projects, close collaboration with the corporate leaders in the industry. And this degree qualify you to hold the position like manufacturing technician, materials manufacturing engineer, application engineer, research assistant in uh, 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 technology center, for instance, quality validation engineer, mechanical design, additive manufacturing process engineer. And the second year, as the same that uh, the last program that I mentioned, you make an internship as well. But the cherry on the cake, this is the partner companies that we have and they offer internship or to make your final thesis in their companies. And we divide it by study field, uh, per study field. Metal, we have Siemens, GKN, Sandvik, Laser Tech, 3DM Print, others. Powder Produce, Husqvarna, Capender Powder Products, others. Equipment, hot, isostatic pressing, and softwares. And the Master in Robotics and Automation. It's a program aimed in the area of digitalization from the perspective of Industry 4.0. We are very, very modern. We are uh, follow the tendency because the most important for us that after to make our program, you are available to have a global career, okay? We have a high number concerning the, uh, our students get a job, over 90%, okay? So as a robotics automation student, this is not a simple program that involves smart robots. Uh, we have uh, International of the Things, IoT, Digital Twins, and AI, Artificial Intelligence. If you choose for one, just for one year, uh, program prepare you a career in automation specialist specialist in industry but if you choose to the program prepare for you uh, research and developing industry universities and research centers and involve internships as well that's all about our programs and uh, we talk a little bit more about the admission requirements that we have a previous education requirement, request English language proficiency requirement, and a letter of motivation. A letter that you talk about you because we want to know who you are. It's very, very uh, friendly, right? Uh, and here we include the minimum score that we request by these tests, Yelp, TOF, IBT, uh, Paper based and TOF IBT internet based. Application, of course, uh, we start in, uh, in October and finish a regular application, but nowadays we are in a late application. And our late application, we have a deadline the first um, week of April. Uh, maybe yeah, this is correct, right, Thomas? Yeah. So about the tuition fees, we have a master programs uh, between seven, uh, 100,000 until 130,000 uh, 130, um, crowns, Swedish crowns, right? And the application fee, something like um, 900 crowns or something like approximately 87 uh, euros, right? So this fee, we not charge for this. This is the fee that's charged by SI, right? And 
I can I check before the presentation. Many people talk about the chat and oh, do you have scholarships? Do you have a full scholarships? Okay, we have the University West scholarship that offered to you a discount in twenty five percent about the tuition, but just for uh, uh, pay students, right? Just for fee pay students. If you have, a, if you, uh, for instance, if you are um, Portuguese citizen, uh, you know that you not pay the tuition because we have a deal with uh, European Union, right? And about the full scholarship, there is, there are some, and we know that SEI, Swedish Institute, offer a full scholarship that we cannot offer this. They offer, and you can apply, and you can check in this link how can you apply and the requirements about if you are uh, if you have condition or not to apply for that okay about the costs of living or living cost in not in sweden but in trohetan you will spend approximately between 700 until 800 euros per month right and at your service just for fee pay students only. We have a free for you, a free health and accident insurance support and arrange accommodation for all of all of international students. Not so just for fee pay students, but, but of course you need to pay for your accommodations, not a free accommodation. Membership uh, student unit, you can, we, we offer opportunity to present for the academia in Swedish, right? Uh, membership of student unit, they are very open mind. And the, our president, they have a tight relationship with the uh, student union. We have a service like a pick it up service at the airports in the reg on a rival day, but we have more details uh, in our website. After, if you, if we accept you, after the acceptance letter, you start to receive this kind of information, right? And we have a guidance cons constantly Korean consulate is very, very nice. If you have some doubts about what kind of global career that you need, if you choose a program with two years and you have condition, we have offered four, for instance, four uh, kinds of special speciality. Oh, I'm so doubt we have a person or a team to support to help to decide this. IT support, free Wi-Fi everywhere on the campus. And we have academic support in academic writing, mathematics, and others. So guys, uh, me and Thomas now, we are available for you to many questions that you want. And thank you. I said this in Swedish, taksomike, right? And I stopped to share my, my slides. If necessary, I put again, uh, according your doubts, right? Thank you so much. Muito obrigado in Portuguese. Thank you, thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, Thomas, for the for the presentation. As mentioned, it's now time to answer to all of your questions. So feel free to write all of your questions into the Q and A uh, section. Um, one of the first questions we actually received, Giovanni talked about the situation about the pandemic. So they were wondering, is it safe to travel to Sweden at this time? Mr. Thomas? Uh, yes. Uh, if it's safe, uh, the pandemic is all over the world and also in Sweden. So uh, uh, I think you shall not travel now because the program is not travel starting now. So it started in late August and then we hope it's really safe. And uh, as I said in the beginning as well, international student has been prior and they have been allowed into Sweden. We had exchange students started this January, mid January. We had uh, 25 of them who ca came from all over Europe and some from Turkey. So of course, but we hope for the best that it will be really safe and open in late August. Perfect, thank you so much. Uh, one of the questions uh, Rebecca is asking us about the IELTS. So, so if she does need a certificate of English language and in case if there is a minimum required. 
Yes, we require IELTS. You have some exceptions if you have previous studied uh, in English, a whole program, etc. But the basic is that you we require IELTS and then the level shall be 6.5 and no part under 5.5. Perfect, thank you. Um, Iris is asking, how is the housing situation? So is it easy to find uh, an, an accommodation? Does the university has any sort of service that can help the students? Yeah. Hi, Iris. I think uh, I e had contact by, with you by email before last week, so I'm happy that you're here. Uh, and yes, we uh, arrange accommodation for all students, uh, fee-paying and non-fee-paying students that apply for accommodation in time. And as Giovanna said in his uh, marvelous presentation, was that we will send out clear information about this to all admitted students. Perfect, thank you so much. One of the questions is actually, do I have to speak Swedish? Maybe, Giovanna, what do you think? You, you have been in Sweden many, many times, worked and so on in Sweden. Do you need to speak Swedish? No, you need to memorize just three, three, words. Hey, hey, hi. Hey, do, goodbye. And L, beer. Yeah. And yeah, and fika, when you go for a coffee. Yeah, this is a, most important, yeah. fika, fika. So important. Very nice. It's a, pro a procedure that you will have a break about the job and everybody take a coffee. The second people that drink too much coffee around the world in Sweden. First, yeah. United States, yeah. and that's the point. I just I when I go to Sweden, Thomas asking me all the time a uh, Brazilian coffee to send to <laughs> to bring it to Sweden. So you can drink a coffee with uh, some. What's the name of the dessert? I love it. Canel uh, with cinnamon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you talk uh, very very nice. Yes, it's nice. Perfect, thank you. Um, Muhammad has a question about the selection, like are applications open and uh, can students start their application as of today? Yes, we are open for late applicants. It means uh, admission is open, so, and it will be open until beginning of April, we think. But if you think you will apply, so do the application now and uh, it's open. Perfect. And we will also be sending you an email after the webinar with all the links uh, for the applications. Uh, Luis is asking us if he needs work experience to apply to a master at University West. No, it's not needed. We only look at uh, the previous studies. So you have the bachelor degree in the right field and the English, as I told you about earlier, I 6.5. Work experience is not needed. However, it's always good with work experience uh, to manage the studies and so on, but not needed. Perfect. Another question about application. So when actually uh, will applicants receive some results? When they can expect to hear back from you? Yes, for the one who applied in, in a regular time before January 15, admission result will be out in beginning of April as well. Uh, the one who has applied late will get be notified after hand. So from um, beginning of April until end of April. So then we give the result. Perfect. So in case we do have someone who have applied and is waiting for the results, don't worry. This will be the time frame when the university will get back to you. Yes. Um, they also ask us about uh, the IT related program. So we talked about background. So what sort of background is needed for a master's in IT? That is, do you have the picture for that one, Joanna? Or you want to bring it up or shall I? Joanna, your microphone is muted, so we can't no. hear you. No. Thomas, do you need the admission requirements, right? No, you can put up that if you yes, like yes. for IT. Yeah. I put this yeah. for you. Um, so that we can do. Yeah. No, there is for that the program. Perfect. No, that's Thank robotics, you. Giovanna. But... Great. Uh, it's not the right program, Giovanna. 
Oh, what's the program? Laser IT. IT. Uh, oh, sorry. No worries. IT, IT sorry, sorry. Uh, Otherwise, I can just. Here's the last one. I can. Yeah, I know. This one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So yeah, the question was about if I need uh, like a bachelor in informatics. So yes, so as you yeah. said on the slide, yeah. it will be informatics so, information system. So in all our programs, basically have, you need to have a bachelor degree, the degree in the field of uh, the program. So it's, we don't have any broad masters as it is for now, but however, for 2022, we will launch some new exciting programs. Maybe I can show them, Giovanni, if you stop sharing. Uh, I can just bring them up and then we will be open for more broad masters that students with uh, okay. bachelor's degrees in any fields can uh, apply to them. Giovanni, can you? Yeah, thank you. And then I can just show a slide. This is the first, it's not decided yet that we will launch them, but hopefully 2022 we will have the production management and artificial intelligence and automation not only electric vehicle engineering, now we will have in self-driving vehicles, auto, auto, autonomous vehicles, and one in cybersecurity and something, I just before this, I had a meeting with the Dean of our business school, and he said they will have a program in leadership in the digital context or something. Programs, names not decided, but it will be so good. Oh, can you accept a humble professor like me as a no. student? <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you for sharing this with us, Thomas. I think it's very exciting. And the, the fact that there are new programs coming up is, is great. It means that it's a very lively environment. Yes. Wow, there are so many questions. So Mario is asking about scholarship. Uh, is an European citizen. He's asking if he can apply for a full-time scholarship. For a European, is he a European citizen? Yes. Then we have a full-time scholarship because EU students don't pay any tuition fees. So we can't give you a scholarship because you don't pay anything. So, so we shared this slide and actually we already have a question about the new programs. Yes. So they're asking yes. us if we can el el elaborate a little bit more about the cybersecurity program. I can't say so much because I just had meetings this week. I know, however, that the pro program manager of cybersecurity said that they will, not, they will not be so narrow in what they look at in previous education. They will be kind of open about who they admit the previous bachelor degree, but they will require some kind of, it's not my field, but they will need some credits in some informatics maybe. But it will be exciting program. Thank you so much. Another question is about GPA requirements. So we talked about uh, English um, test and background. Do you also have GPA requirements? We, it's not so important with the GPA. It's important with G, GPA for uh, when you have applied for a scholarship, then we look at it. And of course you might manage the studies better if you have a higher GPA, but not so important to be admitted to have a high GPA. Then we look at uh, the letter of motivation as Joanna said, and uh, the previous studies and the English. So no worries about that. Thank you. Uh, Nestor is asking us, um, I'm from Mexico. Do I need to validate my bachelor certificate uh, to do uh, like an equivalent to the Swedish education or something like that? No, you don't need to do it. The only thing is that it need, all the documents need to be translated to English or Swedish. Uh, so, but no validation because we have a international admissions office that they can look at all degrees all over the world. Thank you. Um, Lina is asking us if you also planning maybe to expand the programs to PhD programs. Yes, in some, uh, some of the programs uh, it's possible, all, in all programs you can continue to a PhD, but PhD in Sweden it's a bit different because then you apply for it as a regular job. You even get paid a salary, kind of good salary each month. 
And all universities in Sweden, they advertise the PhD positions at the web pages under open vacancies. So it's, but it's possible, yes. And we like students that are continuing with the PhD in Sweden. Perfect. So we have another question from Naga. He's asking, so is, um, or her, she's from India. W which are the opportunities for master's students post COVID? I'm not sure if it's relating to maybe to the job offering or if something is changing. I'm not sure. It's uh, everything is maybe changing nowadays about how things will be, but uh, so it's only speculation I can have there. And uh, I, I really hope things will be normal and we will take the best part of the situation with us uh, for the future that it will not be so many traveling and more digital things and yeah but i can in job market i i can't speculate so much perfect question about renewable energy so among all the programs that we talked about is there anything any program that is focusing on these aspects Renewable energy? No, not for us. I think it's more the bigger universities that offer in these fields, I think, because like Lund, Uppsala and Stockholm, Gothenburg University. Uh, um, but I think, however, in sustainability we have in all our program when we de develop the programs, then we have that as an aspect, of course. Good. So maybe if the question also relates to that, there are lots of programs yeah. that also involve sustainability. That's yeah. good to know. Yeah. Um, online courses, does University West have any sort of online courses? Yes, we do. Uh, we have uh, the robotic and automation programs, both one and two year program, and uh, they are in, uh, they can be taken distance. Electric vehicle engineering can be a distance program as well. And then we have one in child and youth studies, or that can be taken in distance. That's super interesting. So for whoever of you is interested in an online program, there is also this opportunity. Yeah. Um, talking about opportunities, they're asking us if it's possible to stay in Sweden after graduating. Yaha. Uh, yes, it is. You can stay after graduation. You can get uh, a visa residence permit for one year. Uh, so one year stay back option to try to find a job. So that's good. Back to the application, Luis is asking if he has to pass an interview to be admitted and in, if he's so, what should he prepare? Uh, no interview. Uh, we don't have interviews. I what would like us to have interviews, however, but maybe in the future, but we will not have interviews. We only look at the documents that you have and the letter of motivation. It's kind of not an interview, but it's something that you write personally. So. A uh, question about working. So can you cover part of your tuition fee with a part-time job? I'm not sure where this person is writing from. So maybe it might vary from visa regulation, but in general, can they work part-time? With the student visa, you're allowed to work unlimited hours. However, it is hard, can be hard to find an extra job especially the first semester, everything is new, a new culture and everything, full-time studies. So I recommend not to give trust to manage the studies and cover the tuition fees with a job in the beginning. But if, if you pick up some Swedish words, it can be easier. And Gothenburg is quite nearby, so maybe it can be. So, but you're allowed to work, yes. Um, when is the best time to apply for 2022 program? That is from October 16. We open uh, admission for uh, next year. So. And I can see that there are a few questions. I know we talked about in the presentation, but more related to the application itself. So what is the procedure for application? How can they apply? Yeah, we have a central admission for all Swedish universities, but you can go to our webpage and we have links under each program to the application. Then you just create an uh, account, you upload documents and follow your application at the account. If you're a non-EU student, you need to pay 900 Swedish crowns as well. And then uh, you it's kind of easy process. And also when you get admitted, it's kind of easy with the visa process as well. You 
you basically do everything online and it goes kind of fast. It's really a di good digital system with everything here. Perfect question about, so we talked about new programs coming. They want to know if at the moment there is a master degree that covers machine learning and uh, natural language processing. Hmm. I'm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh, it's not my field maybe, but however, I can, when you, we send out the email, then just answer the email and I will give you perfect information and set you up in contact with program manager or if you like, that I can do. Perfect. So yeah, yes. If there are any sort of question that we don't have time to reply today or uh, that you have after this event, please yeah. reply to the email we send. Um, another question is about um, software engineering and yeah. if the application procedure vary from different regions. So in this case, they're writing from Asia. The admission process, no? No, it's the same. Yeah, the only difference is for Swedish applicants, they apply later, but for the rest of the world, they apply at the, apply at the same time. So no difference in time. So admission is open. It will be open until the beginning of April. And uh, as soon as you apply, as soon as you guess, can get an answer. Perfect. And software engineering, is it covered in any of the master program? Can it be? Uh, yeah. Uh, may I? Uh, I'm not, that's not, I'm not really sure. I'm sorry for that. I can uh, check. What do you think, Ivana? Do you know? If you can speculate, you have you muted. Okay. Yes, you're, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Can you repeat again? If, um, actually, if there is a program that covers software engineering, and also they're asking if an electronic engineer can apply to a master's in electrical vehicles. Very specific oh. question. Yeah. Was about, uh, to be admitted, you say, said that. So one is about software engineering, if there is a program that covers that. No, we don't have a program like that. No. And no. the second one is if an electronic engineer can no. apply for a master in electrical vehicle. No, they need a mechanical engineer background for that one. Perfect, thank you. But I'm sure that there is a long list of programs, so please have a look at the website yes, and if yes, there is yes. any other program. Um, back to the English test. Is the Cambridge test accepted? Yes. We do uh, Cambridge tests, yes, Cambridge advanced, yeah, and TOEFL and uh, some other tests, yes. Perfect. Um, we already mentioned that there is no need of work experience. They ask us if we can talk about some graduate and what, where they land now, like what they're doing, if you have any alumni examples. Yeah, we have, uh, we don't have a good alumni database. I have uh, a presentation for the management next week about it because I would like us to start up with an alumni database to work with alumni. It's better to keep track of them. So hopefully next year I can start that office. Mm, but I know students get jobs in Sweden and internationally. Uh, we have, for example, uh, an Indian student uh, who got a uh, internship at a company in Gothenburg. After the internship, we got a really good job there. And another one studied, she was from China, studied uh, international business, and she got a really good job at NEVS, the Chinese electrical car company in our city, Trolletta. And so, yes, you have good student stories, definitely. Perfect. Um... We received quite a good number of questions still about the scholarship. So I'm trying to put them together. So one yeah. of the question is, when I apply for a program, am I basically automatically enrolled into the scholarship or do I need to submit a different application for scholarship? Mm -hmm. The really, really, really bad thing, if I say like that, that, that is since the official application deadline was January 15th. 
scholarship deadline was uh, you needed to apply before January 15 to be able to apply for a University West scholarship. So deadline was February 1st. But it might be so that we can create another kind of scholarship, but then we will send out information about that to all admitted students. So it might be a late application for scholarship. So, and then we will look into uh, GPA and letter motivation and these things. Good. Now it's actually coming, is linked to the other question. So they're asking if the scholarship can be actually uh, given for a career, so that maybe not only for academic merit, but also some other elements can influence the decision. Yeah, uh, what uh, can you, uh, uh, yeah, what can you just repeat the last? I lost. Yes, it. yes, it's about sorry. if the, <laughs> no, sorry, if the scholarship can actually be given on a different base rather than just the academic record. Can it be because of some other merit, for example, work experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Then, then it can be good with the work experience. If you send in the CV, we will look at that. If you have a, had a good job or something like that, interesting job, yes, definitely. And that you can also write about in the letter of motivation. So, because we, will, it, we like uh, different kinds of backgrounds, different kinds of people and so on at our university and in our programs. Um, are there any tips that you can give to whoever is listening to us about writing, for example, a good motivational letter for application or for scholarship, something that you are looking for in students? Uh, I think we, it shall be a genuine. Just write it from uh, your here and, of course, here. And then, yeah, I think so. It's personal, so it shall be from, yeah, no advice. Can, can I help you, Thomas? Yes. Uh, in Brazil, I had two, three, three potential applicants, and they had some doubts about the letter motivation. And I indicated them to talk just for them, not, oh, I did this, 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 this. No, no. We want to know who are you, where are you from, what like, do you like to make some sports? We want to know more about them. That's the point, right, Thomas? Yes, yes, totally. I agree. I totally agree. Yes. Uh, second, why? What's the reason that they choose University West to apply? Yeah. We, we want to know this because yeah. we have the transcript of records. We have the other documents that I can see what you do. I can. We can see your scores during your university, but we want to know more about the student. It's more, very, very open mind, very, very open mind. It's yeah. not necessary to write a, a thesis, right? Just to talk about you, that's the point. Perfect, thank you. I think this is a great advice, especially you know, for someone who's not used to write motivational letter mm -hmm. applications. So I think this is great. We actually answered the majority of the question and we are kind of going towards the, the end of our webinar. So I wanted to ask Thomas and Japan if they wanted to share a final advice or something that they want to share with the audience tonight. Yes, first of all, I'm so happy that so many of you attended and uh, then I also think and hope everything will be better after the summer. So take the opportunity to study abroad and Sweden is a really good option. And I know University West is also a good option. And if you apply and if you pay money and pay the first semester tuition fee, we will refund you if you say, and you can't start up because of the pandemic situation will continue. So no worries about that. This is great. I think this is great because of the situation is a very great good help for the students. Giovanni, anything you feel you want to add? So uh, I am an international professor, right? So I can see about my uh, wisdom, right? So Sweden, it's an amazing city, amazing country. I'm suspect because part of my heart belongs to Sweden now. I have I I usually to go to Sweden uh, ten years ago, and uh, it's uh, very very safe. 
the people is not cold. They are very, very open mind, friendly. Thomas, one of my best friends, for instance, some people said, oh, Swedish guy, oh, they are very cold. No, 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 it's not true. But, and they have a great opportunities for a global career. It's really, really true. That's the point, this is my second time next year that I will go to Sweden as a visiting professor. So uh, all the students that I already helped to apply to Sweden, when they come back to Brazil or take another career, uh, international career, they, I keep the contact and said, Giovanni, Sweden, it's so amazing. Uh, University of West, uh, some Swedish universities overcome my expectations. That's the point. Uh, I really recommend, and the University of West, one of the best for that, because uh, small in a small city and locate the big companies in the small city and we have a tight relationship for that to open a gate of opportunities, a global career. That's the point. Many students, ah, I, I do have a scholarship. Do you have this? You need to think forward, furthermore, what kind of global career that I, I want to my life? And we have condition to show you this opportunity. You have condition to offer our network for this. Think about it that. That's my advice for the students. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thomas and Giovanni. As mentioned, I can see a couple of questions yet. We will be sending you an email the following days with the presentation and with uh, an email address that you can refer to in case you have any further questions. Uh, applications are open. So as Thomas mentioned, until the beginning of April. So uh, please put an application through and I really hope that you will get to meet Thomas in person or maybe even Giovanni if you get admitted and you will go to Sweden. So thank you so much for your time and uh, thanks for being connected with us and we look forward to seeing you soon at the next University West webinar. Thank you so much. Uh, talk, talk. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.